Islam. Rise, 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 rise of Islam. Rise. We are stronger together, united as one. Oh my. Twenty three Civil War Battle of Sifin After the Battle of Camel, all of the misunderstandings between Caliph Ali Radantala and Aisha Radantala were solved. On the other hand, Caliph Ali Radantala and the Syrian governor Muawiya Radantala still did not accept each other's demands, which made both of them very angry. And it got even worse after the Battle of the Camel. Because Muawiya Radantala had a very big misunderstanding. Because Caliph Ali Radantala wasn't doing anything to stop the bad people who killed Uthman Radantala, he thought that Caliph Ali Radantala was the one behind destroying Uthman Radantala, and that's why Ali Radantala fought against the mother of the believer, Aisha Radantala. But we know that's not true. At the same time, Caliph Ali Radantala was trying to solve all of the problems of the big empire, but was not getting everyone's help. Caliph Ali Radantala was in a very bad situation because at that point, most of the famous Sahabas were not alive, and the fake Muslims were trying so hard to destroy Islam. Because Caliph Ali Radantala did not have any real help, he first wanted to change all of the governors to make the people happy and bring peace in the empire. But at the same time, he could not figure out the other giant problem of finding the bad people who were responsible for Uthman Radantala's death. Both Muawiya and Ali Radantala were good, and they both had good logic, and they both wanted what was best for the Muslims. But the main problem was the misunderstandings that the both of them had about each other, and so they did not trust each other. At the same time, both of these powerful leaders were in control of different areas of the empire. As the caliph, Ali Radantala was in control of majority of the empire, and Muawiya was in control of the northern parts of the empire that was really important, like Syria, Palestine, Lebanon, and Jordan. He had been the governor of that area for more than twenty years. Muawiya Radantala was also from a very strong political family and knew how to control the people, and because of that, his people also liked him and followed his orders. After the Battle of the Camel, Caliph Ali Radantala strongly tried to control Syria and remove Muawiya Radantala, who disobeyed the caliph's direct order. At that time, Gufa had a very strong Muslim army, and it was closer to Syria. During Abu Bakr, Omar, and Uthman Radantala's time, the caliphs did not need to go to the battlefield. But Caliph Ali Radantala had no other choice. To control the situation, Caliph Ali Radantala had to do two jobs at the same time. First was the job of the caliph, and the second was being the commander in chief of his army. So, to improve the situation, Caliph Ali Radantala decided to move the capital of the Muslim Empire from Medina to Kufa, Iraq. But now there's another point we need to look at. Before Islam came, Syria was controlled by the Romans and Kufa was controlled by the Persians. For centuries, they used to hate each other. And when Caliph Ali Radantala made Kufa a special place, the Syrian people did not like that, and their centuries-old anger. 
started to grow extremely high and the general people of those areas started to hate each other all over again. Finally, eight months after the Battle of Camel and around one year after Uthman Radintala's death, in the year of 657, Muawiyah and Ali Radintala's army took their position near the Euphrates River in the Sifin area or in present-day Raqqa, Syria. That's why this battle was called the Battle of Sifin. In this battle, many of the famous Sahabas and their sons were on both sides. Most of the Muslims on both sides truly did not want to fight each other because they knew that it was wrong. So for a month, both sides tried to create a peace agreement hoping that they would not have to fight each other because at the end of the day, they really respected each other. But somehow, everything got out of control once again. And another most tragic battle happened in the history of Islam. In seven days, more than 70,000 Muslims died in that unfortunate battle. In the last day when Ali Radintala almost won the battle, Muawiyah used a trick to stop the battle and agreed to choose a middle person as a judge for a final decision to solve the problem. Ali Radintala realized that it was Muawiyah's trick that saved him from losing the battle. Ali Radintala told his people not to stop fighting because he knew his people were almost about to win. But unfortunately, most of his people did not follow his order, and they want to stop the battle. We need to realize that during the other caliph, Abu Bakr and Umar Adintala's time, the Muslims followed their advice blindly because they trusted them. And so the biggest problem during Caliph Ali Radintala's time was that sometimes his people did not strictly follow his important advice. If Ali Radintala's people followed his advice at that time, the Islamic Caliphate's history would have been completely different. At the end, Caliph Ali Radintala stopped the battle and he selected Abu Musa and Muawiyah selected the ex-governor of Egypt, Amr bin al-As, as their middle person as judges. They realized that both sides were extremely heated and angry with each other. So they decided to make the peace agreement final after six months during the month of Ramadan. And at the end, both Muawiyah and Caliph Ali Radintala agreed to that peace agreement. The Battle of the Camel and the Battle of Sifin were the biggest nightmare in the Islamic history. And we need to realize why we were divided. It wasn't because of religion, because at that point, everyone followed Islam the same exact way. They were divided for the worldly things, which were the same things that used to divide the people before Islam came. They started separating from each other because they were born in different cultures, different countries, and different families. And the more they saw the differences between each other, the more respect they lost, making them think that only they are the best. It was the evil hatred and division that our Prophet Muhammad worked so hard to stop. And at the same time, this is an example of how the tiniest things like rumors and mistrust can cause such a huge damage. Both of the battles of the civil war in total killed more than 80,000 top-level Muslims, Sahabas, and Tabeens. Imagine if these civil wars never happened with those powerful Muslims, Islam could have spread even further. Neither side wanted this tragedy to happen because at the end they were all friends and families with each other. 
but it was the evil shaitan and all of the terrible writers and the fake Muslims who were behind all of this evil pain and suffering in the Muslim Ummah. Inshallah, in the next episode, we will talk about the terrible event that permanently ended the Rashidun Caliphate.